مدرسة الدوحة الناطقة بالإنجليزية إحدى أقدم المدارس البريطانية في الدوحة تم بناء المدرسة الابتدائية عام 1971 في حين افتتحت المدرسة الإعدادية عام 1979 وهي تهدف إلى مساعدة الأطفال الذين تتراوح أعمارهم بين ثلاثة و11 عاماً لإدراك إمكانياتهم الأكاديمية والحياتية تعتمد مدرسة الدوحة الناطقة بالإنجليزية منهج البريطاني في التعليم وتستقطب معلمين متدربين في حين ترتقي مرافقها إلى أعلى مستويات الجودة العالمية My name is Ruben and yes, I'm in good, five, class 5A in Doha English Speaking School. My name is Iman, um, I'm in 5A um, and I go to Doha English Speaking School. My name is Leon, I am in class 5A and go to Doha English Speaking School. My name is Daphne and I go to Des Doha English Speaking School. I like how we do lots of trips, that we have a swimming pool and a really uh, wonderful library filled with tons of books. I like this school a lot because um, the teachers really help you understand something. If you don't understand something, they'll keep going over with you until you uh, get really strong at it. I like this school because you're, everyone is treated fairly and there are a lot of friends and there's no one to tease you and you feel safe. I like this school because it has lots of nice subjects and facilities like the multi-purpose hill and we have a library with interesting books and we also have a pool. Okay, so you should all have a really, really good idea of what your story is now, and you should be able to explain it to the person next to you. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a planning sheet now. So you're going to need to think about what the animal was like at the beginning of time. Okay, so how many years ago do you think this story would have been set? Who's got some ideas for how many years ago this story would have been set? Leon? 3,000 years ago, Yara? 500 years ago, let's think even further, further back. Before humans existed, or when the very first human existed. Okay, so that's when we think about these animals and what they used to be like. They're different now because they've changed, something's happened to them. Okay, turn to the person next to you, and I'd like you to tell them three adjectives to describe your setting. Go. Have you got a good adjective? Where's your set? Oh, you're set on an island. That's a good idea. I like that idea. My name's Lara Buck, and I'm a teacher here. I teach Year 5, and I also lead English across the whole school. We follow the British curriculum. Um, I think my main teaching techniques are for the children to be excited and engaged in their learning. We like to have, give them lots of time to talk about their ideas because if you can't say it, you can't write it. So that's why if you come into my classroom, you'll often see the children talking to each other about what it is that they want to write. Mm -hmm. 
I see them excited about learning. Like if you speak to any of our children, that's the first thing that they say. Um, if you say, oh, what's your favorite thing about desks? It's usually that they love their lessons rather than I love playtime. And I think a passion for learning is what will take them far in life. And finish conversation three, two, one. Okay, my story's going to be about how the zebra got his stripes. How did the zebra end up so stripy? Stripy. So, what's the animal like? What's the animal like at the start of my story? Do you think? What's the animal like at the start of my story? Callan. Maybe he's quite sure about the way he looks now. So he's quite sure of how he looks. Yeah? Like quite lazy. Might be quite lazy, okay. What's he physically look like? What does a zebra physically look like? Sterling. Um, <coughs> he would look, without his stripes, he would be just white. Okay, good. So we're going to have a plain white zebra. I think the dedicated staff um, certainly helps all of the teachers here. They're so passionate about their jobs. They go above and beyond the way that they care for the children and want the best for them. I've never been in a school where there's so many staff who are so dedicated to looking after children. So we finished our other book, so today we're going to start a brand new book and it's another Roald Dahl book called Fantastic Mr Fox. Put your hand up if you've heard this before. Fabulous. Okay, super listening ears, put your hands down. Are you ready? Down in the valley there were three farms. The owner of these farms had done well. They were rich men. My name's Hayley Saxon and I am a year two teacher here at DES. This is my second year working here. It's a really great place to work. Uh, we're really lucky to have such fantastic children here at DES. They're all so enthusiastic and willing to learn and also such a great team of staff which really make the school. Boggis was a chicken farmer. He kept thousands of chickens. He was enormously fat. This was because he ate three boiled chickens smothered with dumplings every day for breakfast, lunch and supper. Bunce was a duck and goose farmer. He kept thousands of ducks and geese. So it's really great that children get the opportunity to come in and use the library. We have such busy days and, you know, real big curriculum to get through. So it's fantastic for the children to come in and relax and to listen to stories being told. Uh, really, you know, listen to stories and enjoy them is at the start of the reading process. And then as the children start to learn how to read in, in uh, reception and year one through phonics we use the scheme read write ink here at the school and it really prepares them for future life
I'm Neil McFarlane. I'm the business manager at the school. Behind me is the new seven and eight block for the school. There are a couple of conditions that we have to meet before opening, but the plan is to open this September. The anecdotal evidence about the school, if you go on to um, chat rooms or Google and investigate the school, the amount of information that is flattering about us is, is touching. My name's Sean Sibley and I'm the head teacher at Doha English Speaking School. Yeah, the school currently uh, has children from the ages of three to age 11 years old. Uh, we follow the uh, English national curriculum and so that's from foundation stage one to year six. We're very proud of the standards in the school, both academic and, and also developing children emotionally as, as children. I think we, what we try to do is we try to individualise and personalise learning. We, yes, we have high academic standards. We're very, very keen on making sure that children are happy, that they're safe and they're secure at the school. We have systems in place, for example, a learning mentor, which not many other schools have. And th this is to help children emotionally feel safe and happy here. Um, you know, we, we want to make sure that we bombard the children with opportunities whilst they're at this school. So when they leave this school, they may focus on something they really enjoy and they, you know, they really want to improve. Um, I think another key feature of the school is we, we try to motivate children, excite and enthuse them with learning. You know, we want them to develop as lifelong learners. So when they go on to secondary school, you know, they, they want to lap up more and more learning. I'm Rael Khalifa and my two boys currently go to DES, Doha English Speaking School. Well, my husband actually came here many years ago and uh, he went on to study in the UK. But that being said, I did both the British and the American system. And when it came time to choose between the two schools in Doha, I just came here and I was so happy to see the kids. They were so happy and it was a really nice environment. My name's Victoria. Uh, I have two children here at Doha English Speaking School. Uh, we've been in Doha for seven years and we chose this school because it's like a, it's like an English school. So it's like a little part of the UK in Doha, but also with lots of children from all over the world. So our children have made friends with kids from everywhere. Um, it's a very friendly school, great teachers. The kids get to do lots of different activities. They swim, they do lots of sports lots of out-of-school stuff, and they get a great education. So my name is Rupert Scott. Uh, I'm an alumni of the Doha English Speaking School. I originally went here from 1981 to about 1987, uh, and then returned to the UK. Uh, my mum returned back to Qatar, and actually was the PE teacher of the school here for about 20 years. Uh, I've now been back in Qatar for 11 years, and that's my daughter who's just run into the shot. <laughs> I have two children here at the school, uh, and it's wonderful how it's matured, uh, how it's grown in size. Um, most of the school is still the same. There's small parts of it that have got better, but the, the people here, the teachers, it's wonderful to be back here again. It's a very academically driven school, but the kids are so happy, and I think that's a testament to the teachers here and the faculty. They're always so happy to come to school, and whenever I pick them up, they have, always have a big smile on their faces, so, I mean, that's the best environment for them to learn. The school really instills in the children a sense of self-respect, not just to one another, but to the community that they live in, as well as the environment. جامعة قطر للعلوم التطبيقية تقدم برنامج البكالوريوس لمدة أربع سنوات في إدارة الأعمال مع تخصصات في إدارة السياحة، إدارة الضيافة الدولية، الأعمال الدولية ودراسات الإدارة تقدم الجامعة البرامج التعليمية الهولندية التي توفر توازناً بين النظرية والممارسة 
وتعمل على تزويد خريجيها بالكفاءات المطلوبة في مجال إدارة الخدمات راشد محسن نديله ادرس اداره اعمال دوليه في جامعه استندن صراحه الجامعه طبعا الحين سنه رابعه فيها فاشاهدت فيها مجروحه بس بس الشيء اللي حسيته في الجامعه ان ان الجامعه الاجواء اللي في الجامعه اجواء عاليه جامعه كلنا نعرف بعض والمدرسين مكاتبهم مفتوحه في حاجة ثانية أكاديميا مهمة حنا الحين نسوي دراسة جدوى وسوينا أكثر من دراسة جدوى في في تخدم تخدم شركات موجودة في قطر شركات حقيقية ودراسات جدوى حقيقية واستخدموها الشركات وفي حاجة ثانية طريقة التدريس هنا في 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 ستندن طريقة التدريس العملية يعني المحاكاة للواقع يعني يعني الـ الـ في اجتماعات عمل وكأنها حقيقية وكل اللي موجودين فيها طلاب والدكتور يقيم الطالب ويعطيه الملاحظات اللي راح راح تفيده يعني أنا بعد ما تخرج أقدر أدير اجتماع بكل أريحية لأن في الجامعة مثلا أدرت سبع ثمان اجتماعات حقيقية Ladies and gentlemen, good morning um, what we're going to be doing here today is uh, looking at the event management process or the project management process. If you look on the screens, you'll see that you have the event model canvas. And you'll see that um, in front of you, you have a whole uh, copy of the event model canvas that looks at the whole uh, event management uh, process. My name is Tahira Magda. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer and elective courses coordinator at uh, Stenden University, Qatar. So I've been here for uh, almost well, seven years, seven and a half years. I really enjoy my experience with the staff uh, and the students because um, since I've been here for such a long time, um, I have done a lot uh, in terms of uh, lecturing and coordinating and really being involved with the students um, because my role entails, you know, uh, from senior lecturer to uh, elective programs that I offer. بعد ايفنت مانجمنت 1 اذا ما اخذتوا ايفنت مانجمنت 2 شنو اللي تبتاخذونه؟ شنو اللي تبتاخذونه؟ بس ايفنت مانجمنت صح؟ لا بس حنحكي اكيد حنحكي اوكي اذا احتجتوا اي مساعده تخص هاي الايفنت مانجمنت 2 لان اجد هو يعني بيزد ان العلاقات الريليشن شيبس والناس اللي تعرفونهم برا فاذا احتجتوا اي شيء احنا موجودين طب انتم بس عملتوا ايفنت قلت لك كيف كيف تواصلتوا مع العالم كيف مثلا قدرتوا تحجزونين كيف جبتوا عالم اول شيء مثل ما قلت لك هو كله يبنى على العلاقات والناس اللي تعرفينهم 
فاحنا زرنا اول شيء كتارا وحاولنا وارسلنا كثر ايميلات للعديد من الفينيوز هني اللي في الدوحه والقاعات اللي موجوده سواء في الفنادق وغيرها. لكن صعب ان احد يعطيك سبونسر يعطيك قاعه ويعطيك فود اند بفرج ببلاش وكل هذه الامور انه ببلاش. لذلك انت محتاجه انك تزورينهم اكثر من مره تقنعينهم بالايفنت اللي انت قاعد تسوينه، تقنعينهم بالبنفتس اللي راح ترجع لهم يعني بعد حلو ان تكون هذه العلاقات مستدامه بين بينك وبينهم. اسمي تماظر الحر وانا ادرس اداره فندقه دوليه في جامعه ستندن قطر. هي الجامعه الوحيده في قطر اللي تقدم بكالوريوس في اداره الفندقه الدوليه وهذه من التخصصات النادره امانه حتى في المنطقه. احنا دائما نقول قطر تستحق الافضل من ابنائها لكن الافضل ان احنا نتنوع في التخصصات ونساعد في التنميه بكل تاكيد. كنت جدا مهتمه بالتخصص الفرعي لتخصص اداره الفندق الدوليه اللي هو التخصص اداره الفعاليات الكبرى، وانا من الناس اللي خذت هذا التخصص الفرعي كان قطر يعني نقدر نقول انها هي صارت تستقطب كل الفعاليات الكبرى سواء الرياضيه وغيرها، ايضا من المؤتمرات وغيرها الدوليه صارت كلها تقام في قطر، من الجميل ان احنا نشوف الكادر القطري مساهم في هذه المؤتمرات ويديرها ويفهم اليه اداره هذه الفعاليات الكبرى. الجميل في جامعة ستندن قطر أن أنت ما راح تتخرج إلا وأنت عندك عدة لغات لأن أيضا راح تتعلم اللغة الإسبانية كلغة أساسية فأنت تدرس بالإنجليزي والطالبات أصلا عندهم اللغة العربية وأيضا راح يكون عندهم إسبانيش الشيء الجميل أن أنت راح تنفتح على العادات والتقاليد والمجتمعات الأخرى لأن مجتمع المجتمع اللي موجود في ستندن قطر يضم العديد من الإخوان اللي جايين من دول عربية ومن دول أجنبية أيضا هذا غير الطلاب اللي يجونا بين فترة وفترة من الجامعة الأم ايضا عندنا في سنه ثالثه احنا نزور الجامعه الام وندرس فيها، آه لذلك انت راح تطلع على الجامعه الام والدراسات اللي موجوده فيها، وايضا راح تتعرف على الكثير من الاشخاص سواء داخل قطر وخارجها اللي راح بالتاكيد يتشاركون معك في الخبر. الامانه حصلنا احنا سبونسرز وحصلنا حتى يعني مبالغ ماليه قدرنا على اساسها ان احنا ندفع للشهادات اللي طبعناها والبروشورز وهذه الاشياء الاخرى، ايضا حتى يعني كان عندنا مبالغ ماليه اضافيه ان احنا سوينا بوفيه كامل للعشاء. يمكن العديد من الناس تعرفني وتعتقد اني انا دارسه ميديا او اعلام، لكن الحقيقه انهم ما يعرفون اني انا دارسه اداره فندقه دوليه، هذا هذه التخصص هو كومبينيشن بين الاداره وبين الفندقه، لذلك الكثير من الناس تستغرب انا شلون قادره اني انا اتحدث، شلون قادره اني انا اتواصل مع الاخرين. وشلون قادر اني انا اكون مؤثره هذه كل السكيلز والمهارات انا تعلمتها من جامعتي ولها الفضل الكبير في ذلك لذلك الناس تعرفني في اذاعه قطر على اني انا مذيعه برنامج وطني الحبيب صباح الخير لكن ما تعرف ان الفضل الكبير هو لجامعتي اللي اهلتني اني انا اكون في يوم من الايام قادره اني انا اتحدث امام الجمهور وبدون اي خوف Good afternoon Thank you for coming um... This is the second lecture about law, so we are going to talk a lot about your law assignment that you are expected to submit by the end of this module. Uh, yesterday, when we started the lecture, we talked about law and the definition of law and what are the different sources of law. Today, we are going to focus on your assignment that is in your module book. So I will ask you please to open your module book. اسمي عثمان صدوقي انا مسؤول عن الدعم الاكاديمي بالجامعه وكذلك استاذ لماده القانون انا صار لي مع الجامعه هنا في قطر اكثر من 14 سنه قبل اجي القطر انا اشتغلت بالجامعه الام في هولندا اربع سنوات ودرست قانون هناك اعجبت بالنظام التعليمي للجامعه استفدت منه كثير تطبيقيا وتعليميا درست كذلك معهم الماجستير هناك في الجامعه الام ولما صار في فرصة أني أنقل التجربة لبلد عربي اخترت قطر أنها تكون هي البلد اللي أنتقلها فجيت مع الجامعة لقطر من سنة 2004 قطر متجهة لتنويع الاقتصاد من, من التسعينات وقطر عندها هذه الوجهة والنظرة 2030 كذلك تخدم هذا المجال وقطاع الضيافه والسياحه جزء مهم في هذا التنويع الاقتصادي، وجامعه ستندن قطر بمس... تحاول ان تساهم في هذا الموضوع بتحضير الاطر لهذا المجال. As I told you yesterday in the law lecture, we don't prepare you to be lawyers, we would like you to think as lawyers. 
So instead of you having a problem as a future professional and go into a lawyer, which will cost you a lot of money, we would like you to be able to think in advance, think about the problems that might happen and try to prevent them. المنهج التدريسي للجامعة مبني على ثلاث مبادئ بسيطة الفكرة الرئيسية هو تجهيز الطالب للمستقبل فالمبادئ هي البروبلم بيز ليرنينج اللي هو التدريس عن طريق حل المشاكل مبنية كذلك على المبدأ الثاني اللي هو البحوث التطبيقية والهدف الثالث هو تدويل الإدوكيشن My name is Ivan Ninov and I'm the Executive Dean of Stenden University, Qatar. Stenden uh, University, Qatar is the first Dutch university in Qatar and in the whole of the GCC region. We have been in existence for more than uh, 17 years now. And until now, more than 800 students have successfully graduated from Stenden uh, University, Qatar. The university here in Doha was established by His Excellency uh, Sheikh Faisal bin Qasim Al Thani who is a great supporter of the university and a great believer in education. Uh, currently, we offer three different academic programs, Bachelor of Business Administration degree programs in international hospitality management, in tourism management, and in international business and management studies. We are very proud to say that our hospitality and tourism management programs are internationally accredited by the International Center of Excellence uh, for hospitality and tourism, uh, tourism education. And we are also uh, accredited in the state of Qatar and in the Netherlands. Uh, it's worth mentioning that our tourism management program is the only internationally accredited program in the whole of the MENA region. We are also one of the uh, government supported universities here in Qatar, which means that all Qatari students can study at Stenden University on a government scholarship.